morning, everybody. Uh, came out here to work on the uh, camper this morning and uh, noticed that uh, the roof up towards the front on the side there, the cabling system has come loose somehow um, and started to sink. So I got some wood over here to go ahead and get it stabilized. Um, and that way we can get back to getting the linoleum up, getting the uh, gas lines in down through the floor, uh, getting the water tank dropped today, and looking at the cabling system. I uh, probably won't fix that until after we get the uh, floor all laid in nice and good. All right, now I got it all stabilized, back to level. Can get it all cut now. Get the linoleum up. One last thing I gotta worry about today, but it's just another thing we gotta worry about as far as fixing. Hey guys, back underneath the trailer again. Um, as you can see right there behind me right here, that's a shroud or a cover plate to cover up the cabling system for the roof lift system. So we're going to be taking that apart and checking it out, Let's see what's going on. Let's see if I can uh, pop up the camera and record this, so y'all can see a little more what's going on. came loose hmm have to kind of look into this and see if getting it fixed probably will have to lower the roof and reconnect it to the eye bolt that's right there where everything else is connected alrighty so we found the joker and get rid of this spider here Well, I showed y'all a picture the other morning. When I came in, that part of the roof had come down and the uh, cabling system that came loose from the whiffle tree. So, I got the plate off, lowered it down so I can reattach. We're gonna reattach the cable into the whiffle tree and get it fixed. Socket. Here I am just using my Lyman's pliers to retwist the cable back together. Then I'll add some good old electrical tape to prevent it from refraying as I replace the wire rope clip and tighten the cable down. Okay, you good? Nice and tight. All right, I'll check it out here in a minute. Well, got the cable fixed. Uh, got it raised back up. Now we're gonna test it out. I did, however, see since this is so old that I'm gonna have to work on the whole crank mechanism breaking and the latching system because it's all froze up in there. But I'm able to still raise and lower. It's just not locking into place. It's not free falling. Pretty 
How are we looking? Needs to go up more. Or... Oh, okay. Okay. Well, another video will come out when I break that mechanism apart and get all that fixed.